We saw the Suzuki absolutely send it. Oh, no, 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 this car is gone. There's no way he's going to save it. I'll turn around. The guy's in the tank. Guys, get out of the way, because I didn't know how far Darren was going to be rolling down this hill. Bit of carnage, bit of wheel spin. Mate, I've got Jeeps running through the creek. I wonder how Tom's going to go into Unimog. It made it look like he was driving through McDonald's. Hello, uh, can I get one Big Mac, please? Simon was telling me, full send, full send. Simon literally was yelling in the radio going, Rico, full flat, 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 all four. Lucas and his family have opened the park up, first time in history, to night driving. You've got to drive through water before you get to the rock. So your tires are already slicked up, not a lot of traction. You okay in there? Day two, Simon said we're going to be doing a few tracks. And I was keen, I was like sitting around for three hours, I was ready to go. Looking forward for today. First track of the day, the skids was good. It was technical, a good warm up. Name of the game was to challenge us a little bit more with our driving today. It was interesting. There was a tire track. <laughs> I don't think most people have to worry about those branches. Simon Winfield, I was just fell out in my happy to do with driver and experience. But I was just able to get through quickly. Oh, I bet you how you feeling looking at that rock face. <laughs> it's a bit hairy, but we'll give it a go. You're talking about my head. <laughs> <laughs> to do it myself, I probably would have maybe chickened out, but having someone like Simon with his experience, it was quite easy. We just climbed right through it, piece of cake. Ah, awesome! Rock step section there, they had to go up to the right, then left, and then right again to get up. I got a little bit of a spot off Simon to make sure I didn't punch a hole in the floor of the car. Nice and easy, got to the top, and then got to watch everyone else do it. My lord. I'm in three wheel drive, I really hope I don't break something else. Oh my gosh. I was a little bit worried that maybe it might snap a front drive shaft because they were doing a lot of load to try and pull quite a big vehicle uphill. It wasn't that much of a slope, so that allowed me to get more traction on the front. Mate, Tank 300 just climbed up there with ease. I was cheating on a cot on Friday, having a bottle of beer. I got a phone call from Byron saying, Mate, Rico, get your Tank 300 to the Springs because I've snapped my car. We need your Tank 300 doing some extreme stuff. That track wasn't that difficult. I started with rolling up pretty easy. At where the rocks are, I struggled a little bit, but with a bit of power, the car made it up pretty easy. Most people don't realize you need protection when you go out. The idea of a rust rider is to protect your car. You have a complete in-house manufacturing process from bare metal to a finished product. If we don't make it for your car, let us know and we'll make something happen for you. Jesse, one of our dealers, is an experienced four-wheel driver and he made work of it. Simon's like, Dan, how about you try this one over here? And I'm like, that's what we're here for this weekend, just to try some harder stuff, do something a bit challenging for the car. A little bit of wheel spin, a little bit of a bump up over a bit of a hill. Em came up in the Amarok, she just blasted up there. Emily from Carbon, driving this stuff like it's nothing. A few of the other guys struggle a little bit, but this thing does it really, really easy. It's twin lock and geared and everything. We had no problems with that. Once we got out of there, we had another climb just after. Some of the bigger cars had to carry a bit more momentum through some of the wombat holes. Bit of carnage, bit of wheel spin, lots of traction. The Jeep, just being so light and with a fair amount of wheel travel, we just basically cruised up without too much effort. Everyone else is going hardline, so I was like, well, I've got to go hardline. 
Unfortunately, I didn't drop my pressures enough and it was spinning and it was really loading up the front axles reversed down and went chicken track. But chicken track was also too much for it. But luckily, we had the carbon off-road Jeep. Recovery gear is an essential item when planning to go off-road. Carbon off-road offers a range of recovery gear. We've got full kits ready to go. You can buy individual components to beef up your own kits that you've got. Get in touch with us, have a chat. We're happy to help you make the right decision on your recovery gear. Tank 12,000, did a great job. Most of the other crew came through pretty unscathed. We got to Toyota Hill eventually after I got winched and deflated my tires. There's a creek running through the bottom of Toyota. Mate, I've got Jeeps running through the creek. That was a bit of fun. I splash everywhere. I saw a mud everywhere as well. We're here ready for our next challenge. We've got a volunteer who we're gonna to send to the top, turn him around and bring him down and see what it's like. Could be a good run, let's see how he goes. And that was our turn, and we hit Toyota Hill. We saw the Suzuki absolutely send it. I could see that it was getting a little bit more challenging. Simon sent me up, a little bit of wheel spin. I managed to get the car up with rear lock only. I didn't even engage the front lock, and the vehicle just walked up the track. I'm coming up this mountain in second gear. Whoop doo, whoop doo. As we're coming up to the top, Rico's coming down. Mate, I don't know what he was doing, but Simon was telling me, Byron, full send, full send. Simon literally was yelling in the radio going, Rico, full flat, flat, flat on the floor. Quick, quick, quick. I don't know, you know, he wasn't speaking Mandarin or something. We came and we just passed each other. That was fun. <laughs> Woo! Such a good vehicle. Fun times. The tanks did a fantastic job with that challenge. Now let's see how the Canon handles it. We've decided to approach the climb in second gear, low range. A little bit slippery in a couple spots. But the Canon comes with a factory diff lock that definitely changed things. We've walked up it, no dramas at all. Great drive from Jesse. Now it's Tom's turn in the Unimog. He's almost like Simon. When he turns his weekend, he increases the intensity and gets harder and harder and harder. That was the tricky one for Simon, but we might have it. Nice and comfortable seating. We've got an aircon and nice easy drive up there. How did you turn and come back down? I wanted to come down the hard track, but so I'm saying, no, you have to go down the other way. Dan's up next in his trusty TJ, but it's a little louder than usual. The noise that you're hearing is actually the fan shroud slightly touching the engine fan at the moment at certain points. Just need a grinder and some elbow grease. Go right up to the very top, hang a U-turn, and then come back down. Righto, here we go. My first run, I took it a bit easy. I didn't know to really give it some gas. Losing a bit of traction right there. Come back a little bit further. Oh. Right hand down, right hand down. Right hand down. After being coached by Simon, second or third attempt, I think it was, I got up the top. It was a great feeling. Now that everyone is warmed up, let's move on to something a little more serious. Let's go! <laughs> we got to one of the extreme climbs. Hardcore climb. Hardcore hill now, oh my gosh, that makes me nervous. It starts off pretty technical, there's some big rocks and you've got to carefully pick your line. And I thought, oh this ain't too bad, it's fairly flat and I'm thinking hardcore climb's a bit of an unusual name for it. Then we got round to where it got serious and I thought, oh, okay. That was a good warm up mate. <laughs> he split the vehicles into two, 
the extreme vehicles, the Unimod, the Suzuki and the Jeep, they pulled to one side. Myself and a few others took the chicken track. But the chicken track, it wasn't easy. We're sliding, we're skidding, we're turning corners. My heart was pumping. First time I've seen this track, big waterfall, rock garden at the top there. This looks really steep and I know Darren's rig is super short wheelbase. I'll give it a red hot crack. Told Jai before that if I'd roll it, I'll roll it onto my side rather than his. So. The Suzuki he started pretty well. Didn't even have too much wheel spin. He was on a good line, but then the car bounced over a little bit and then the rears hooked up. The wheels lifted and I thought, yeah, I'll reverse back down. And I missed the gear. Oh, no, 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 this car is gone. There's no way he's going to save it. I remember looking at Jai as we went over and just telling him goodbye. Bye. I'll turn around. The guy's in the tank. Guys, get out of the way, because I didn't know how far Darren was going to be rolling down this hill. Go back, back. Lucky the Suzuki had the case in it. When you've got the right gear and you apply it in the right way, it will save your life. He actually looked pretty excited as well. He got, oh yeah, not injured. That guy has got more ticker than me. He was ready to have another go. That's a trip to the parts bin both ways. If you're loving this content as much as we love Make It, make sure you follow our page. I started panicking a bit. This is literally my third time doing a proper full driving tracks. <laughs> Someone told me, just watch the Suzuki. The Suzuki will pick the right line. You saw what happened. Simon's stressed, I'm stressed. He's on a Tang 300 that's nearly stock. I feel sick, I could nearly vomit. Simon came to me and went, are you sure I want to do it? Let's do it. I'm already here. It went really well at the beginning until we reached the rocks. And then I was actually a quest guy. Lucky that we have Jesse, a very experienced four-wheel drive operator. He was standing on the top trying to get me the line. Okay, see how you slow down as you came up? Yep. You have to roll through that. Okay. <laughs> Rico, you did it! <laughs> It was such a relief. I nearly cried because I'm really close with Rico. Seeing someone do something that's totally out of his comfort zone is a special moment. Tank 300, baby. Woo! We have two new products for the Tank 300. Number one product is a spare tire carrier. The factory spare tire is mounted onto the rear tailgate. The tailgate is not very strong. By the time you start modifying a vehicle, you want to have a big, heavy spare tire. This spare tire, 20 kilos more heavier than the factory one. And this tailgate is not going to hold it. That's why we designed this bar tire carrier. This product transfers the load through this beam onto the chassis. So it does not add any weight onto the tailgate. If you are interested in this product, check out our website, savagetech.com.au. You'll be able to find it. Next! <laughs> Everyone's a bit rattled after Darren's rollover. They're like, I wonder how Tom's going to go into Unimog. Hardcore? We might just call it. Softcore? <laughs> <laughs> so boring. Like, honestly, it made it look like he was driving through McDonald's. Hello, uh, can I get one Big Mac, please? It's like cheating. <laughs> I was almost going to pull out, but I thought, no, we'll give it a go. What's your chances? 100%. We'll get there. It was the perfect line, good traction. We didn't slow down, kept the momentum up, and we made it. Thanks for trusting me, Greg. Always, mate. Ah. I knew you weren't going to hurt me. Mate. It was just a really good section. What's the time? It's time for Beer O'Clock Hill. Byron's hanging out with us and he's talking and chatting away, then he disappears. Then all of a sudden, he's coming back in Rico's car. Isn't this the very car you just told me you're going on holidays? Yeah, I was saying that. If you damage this car, I'll be ready and push back on holidays. Do not damage it. He sounds a little nervous. No problem. Well done, well done. Right. I do, what the hell? I'm going to ask someone if you like to be my pet. 
Who was not prepared for that? Man, it is chopped out. It's an absolute mess up here. I've never seen it looking this bad. <laughs> oh! Come on, come! Awesome. Awesome. Great drive. Lucas and his family have opened the park up first time in history to night driving. Just such a crazy atmosphere. There was about 30 cars on the night run. I love night driving. He turned the whole Bureau Drive concept into a massive challenge. You've got to drive through water before you get to the rock. So your tires are already slicked up, not a lot of traction. One of the winch trucks nearly made it up the way and then his fridge just wasn't tied down properly. So his fridge just slid all the way back down to the bottom again. The crowd just went crazy over a fridge. We decided to run up through the V-notch. We thought that it was probably our best chance of actually driving something. We got about halfway up and then unfortunately we just lost traction on the driver's side. We dropped down into that hole. It was obvious after five minutes of having a crack that we had to pull the winch out. We were able to winch and drive and get up out of the V-notch with that recovery. I've never seen anything like that before. You would have to have balls of steel to do stuff like that. Put in a bit of work to fix the guards and I guess we're gonna fix them again. <laughs> or remove them. Okay, in there? Yeah, just uh, waiting for a mate. <laughs> I was thinking, oh no, it's going to stop any second, but it didn't, kept going. And yeah, then when the roof started squashing in, I thought, this is no good. <laughs> Luckily, I had my seatbelt on, so it was a weird feeling hanging upside down in it, especially my weight on my shoulder. It was an unusual feeling undoing it and hitting the roof. <laughs> as soon as he was on his roof, Simon, Lucas, a few of the other crew were straight down there checking to make sure that everyone was okay and getting that recovery done safely. Got everything sorted, got him back on his wheels and he was out a little bit later on that night. Whilst we were out working up an appetite, B was back at camp cooking up a feast. Welcome to MDC cooking class. My name's B Frost. <laughs> Today we'll be making Thai beef salad, which the Thais will call it Yum Nia. Let's get started. I like to use sesame seed oil. Don't put too much in it, you don't want to overpower the meat. Let's get our steak in. We'll start making our dipping sauce for our num jim. First thing we want to do is add the garlic, just the chilli, we'll just do one. Palm sugar, coriander root. Once you've got all your dry ingredients in, you want to give it a little bit of a bash. All right, now we're going to prepare our salad. So shallots, coriander, red onion, straight into the mixing bowl. Your mint goes in, come back to a nice fresh meal. You can't beat it. So what we'll do now is cut the steak. You want to cut against the grain. Put your knife in the 45, and you want a nice thin slices like that. That just goes into the bowl. Obviously, it's a big crew, so I had to bring a rice cooker. So you just want to press it into a bowl like that. Grab yourself another plate, a couple of spoons of num jim. Give that a really good mix. Grab your salad. So that's my yum now, cooked in my MDC low profile camper. This is really good. The general consensus is I will eat a poo sandwich if the bread is fresh. But what I will say about this, it is absolutely delicious and the best Thai beef salad I've ever had. Great day, great weekend. The tracks selected were fantastic. All in one spot here at the Springs 4x4 park. This weekend has been an amazing weekend. It's a bucket list of mine. <laughs> I loved it out here. 
What a crazy episode that was, but do you guys realize that that was the second part of the series? So why don't you go back and watch the first part to see how we got into this mess, but also how we put one of the campers to the extreme ultimate test at the Springs 4x4 park. Watch it right here.